Hey everyone, how you doing? I hope you're all doing well. If you're new, welcome. My name is Kiriel. I upload makeup content. If that wasn't clear by this video and <laughs> my channel. Anywho, my brain is clearly not working. I'm sorry I didn't upload last week. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear. It's a little bit echoey in here. I've been moving furniture out. I've been trying to organize my life. <laughs> I've been painting. So this wall over here is a different color and uh, just, yeah, in general, it's just been busy. Hey guys, it's Ed's and me from the future. Um, <laughs> just a quick side note, this is actually supposed to be uploaded last week, but my Final Cut Pro decided to die on me and I literally lost everything. So it's a little bit of a bonus upload for you guys this week. I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know it wasn't my fault. I tried everything I could. <laughs> anyway, we'll now resume normal scheduling. Okay, bye. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm ready to put some makeup on. I haven't really worn any recently. I think there was like one day where I put concealer, gimme brow on, and then some mascara, and that was it. <laughs> so I'm excited to make up my face, okay. Today I really wanted to test out new packs by Eco Tools that I saw in Boots, which I was intrigued by and which I thought was kind of genius. So it's the new Eco Tools interchangeable sets. They've got two, actually no sorry, I think they've got three sets all together. I picked up the Daily Essentials Total Face Kit, which comes with five brushes. And then I also picked up the Total Renewal Eye Kit, which comes with seven brushes. So these sets come with handles, which then you can switch out the brush head. And I thought that was such a good idea. It's supposed to be more eco-friendly because you don't have like the plastic handle. I thought this is like a great step into more eco-friendly beauty, especially with makeup brushes. But I wanted to see if the sets were actually worth it and whether this is a good idea or not. <laughs> They do also have single brush heads that you can buy. In both these sets, it doesn't really have like a smaller powder brush. So I picked up the round cheek head, which I thought I could use for like blush and highlight. So yeah, I'm gonna be testing these out, see if the brushes are actually worth it. I'll leave a link to these down below if you are curious and list the prices and everything in the description box for you. Oh, and also look what turned up, which I'm so excited for. It's the Pure X Raw Beauty Christie palette. I'm so excited to use this. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put this on my eyeballs today and see if I like it. I think I probably will because I love the color story. But yeah, let's zoom you guys in and we'll get started on the eyes first, I think, because I just really wanna put this on. <laughs> All right, so like I said, you get seven brush heads in this little set. The handle feels a little bit cheap. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I hope this would like stand the test of time if I'm gonna be like interchanging the actual brushes. But all you do is twist, I think, and pull. Oh, it might just be pull. Yeah, they just kind of snap on. Okay. Each brush head does have a name, so that's great. This is the base shadow, which is just a big kind of fluffy brush. If I'm honest, I'd probably use something like this more for like highlight. It's just a bit big for like my eye shape. I guess it would be okay for just like fluffing a shadow all over the top of the lid. Then we have a flat shadow brush, which I would usually use these kind of brushes for my base. We have the blend in crease brush, which actually does look like a decent size. It's not too big. This is something that I would use. We have the precision blend in, which looks like a little pencil brush. We have the precision smudge, which is one I would probably use for like shimmer shadows. And this one actually, it looks a little damaged and it doesn't have a name on it, but it's like a little angled brush. And then finally there's this one, which is the flat liner brush. I think I would probably use all of these for eye looks. So it's a great start, I guess. <laughs> brushes feel really soft. I think they are synthetic brushes, which is great. I'm gonna start off with the flat one. I'm gonna use this for my actual cream base. I'm gonna be using the Cut Crease Canvas by Makeup Revolution. And yeah, this is definitely a brush I would just use for like my all over base. I feel like it's just too big. I'm not using a brush this big to apply shimmer. <laughs> I might try using it for like a cut crease, even though it does seem a bit big for that as well. You know what, it's fine. Let's just see where, where this video takes us, shall we? Okay, so 
This brush is fine for that. <laughs> I'm just changing out the brush head and I'm gonna go for the blending crease brush. I will just say, popping these on and off is kind of difficult. <laughs> like they make it quite snug, which I guess is great to keep the brush on, but yeah. Just an FYI. Okay, let's get into this palette finally so I can try it. This is my first actual product from Pure as well. I'm thinking about using the neutral side today and then I'll try the, the colorful side on another day. There are some extremely gorgeous shades on this colorful side, but I really want to use the shade Moo Point. This like pinky color over here. I'm first of all gonna go in with Copper Boxes. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a smidgen just a little bit you know please ignore my brows okay anyway <laughs> I'm just gonna pop this through the crease wow okay this brush really did not pick up much pigment what the heck <laughs> let's try again shall we oh there we go okay <laughs> it's actually quite a dense blending brush it is really soft but it's not like fluffy you know these are pressed pigments why is it <laughs> why is there not that much pigment i'm confused would it be the brush because i mean i've watched other people use this palette and it's like super duper pigmented and it's blended out like a dream but there's not that much pigment going on i know i'm testing out these brushes but i just want to test out another one just to see if it's the brush or the palette so i was expecting more like this is quite a dark color in the actual pan is it not or is it just me I was trying to find a brush that's similar in like density and shape in my collection and I've got this one by Spectrum which is kind of similar. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I definitely think it's the brush. It's just not, well, it looks like it's picking up pigment but then it's not like actually putting it on my lid. How weird. We're gonna continue. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna try this brush again. Oh, you know I said <laughs> that it was hard to get off? <sighs> Eco tools? Eco tools. I'm gonna be writing you a letter. <laughs> what the heck? Like that's just fully stuck on there now. So I can no longer use this at all. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to finish this video? Ha what should I even open this one then because this one has another one of those blue guys in there But I don't, I don't even know if I want to open this now, you know Well, this video's uh, going great swell. You know what? I bought it so I'm gonna use it. So now I've got my new handle That's not broken. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the precision blend in and I'm gonna pack on some color I'm gonna go in with the shade. You're not my real dad <laughs> and I'm going to really deepen up this outer corner. I've been watching a lot of Bailey Sarian recently and she just goes in with the makeup and I just want to start doing that. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just taking this fully where I want my cut crease to be. I want to do kind of like an exaggerated one. So let's just do it. This is super pigmented. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do little wiggle motions to blend out the edges. Figured out by the way this base for me makes some of my shadows look like shiny like the actual skin underneath it makes it almost seem oily. And I'm in search for a good eyeshadow primer. I want to get the Sigma one but I'm not sure what shade to get. First world problems. <laughs> uh, does now mean that I can't use this blending brush doesn't it? It's like fully stuck in there so I guess I'm just gonna go back in with my spectrum blending brush and blend the edges of this with a little bit of copper boxes again. Maybe this video. <laughs> At least these eyeshadows are blending really nicely and performing really well. I do almost wish there was a black in here. I'm super grateful though that she has a white in this palette like so grateful you guys know how i feel about like white bases white shadows for a pale person i just love them <laughs> yeah i do still kind of wish there was like a darker shade in here because you're not my real dad is kind of the deepest shade in 
this whole palette. This is probably a bad idea, <laughs> but I'm going in with the base shadow brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of You're Not My Real Dad right on the tip of the brush, just because I wanna add more of this color and that little brush just wasn't doing it for me. Let's just see how this goes. That's a little bit better for me. I wanted a little bit more drama, you know? A little bit of fallout underneath my eye, but that's fine, I don't mind that. I'm just gonna take the cut crease canvas again and I'm gonna quickly cut the crease. We're gonna try using the flat shadow brush again. All right, so I probably should have taken off the base color before putting the cut crease on, but <laughs> work you. Now I'm gonna go in with Moo Point. I'm using this precision smudge brush, the Eco Tool set. I'm still giving these a chance. Okay, which is a beautiful dusty color. When I saw this shade, in this palette, I instantly knew that I really wanted it. I don't know, I don't have many of these shades in my collection, I don't feel like. It's just a little different, you know? This brush is way too small to be doing that. <laughs> Maybe I should have used that, that flat shadow brush, you know? But oh well, we're here. <laughs> Such a pretty shade. I think this could have like really popped over like a white base for me. I do want to kind of brighten it and lighten it a little. So what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna go in with the white from the other side, which is called Lumos. If you're a Harry Potter fan, I'll touch your heart a little. <laughs> as soon as I saw this, it's called Lumos. I was like, yes. I'm gonna put this white on the inner corner and just kind of lighten it up, add a little bit of a gradient. This is one dip <laughs> and it's looking pretty pigmented. What? Oh my god. Whoa. That is so pigmented. Okay, crusty and pure. What the heck? I'm being very gentle with it because I don't know. I just wanted like a little bit of a gradient. I didn't want it to be like stark white, you know? I'm gonna go back in with Not My Real Dad and I'm gonna bring it in on an angle to create almost like a blown out liner look. And I'm gonna bring it across here. I'm just using the same brush because <laughs> I am lazy. Okay, no other excuse. <laughs> just gonna take my blending brush and just blend over the edges of the liner and then just re-intensify it a little bit, you know? Taking a little bit of cover boxes just over this edge by here. I don't wanna add too much because I'm afraid it might go a little bit muddy on here. So I'm just gonna lightly just tapping it over just to add a little bit of a gradient if I can. Okay. So I'm not hating this, I actually quite like it. I may add a little bit more of like depth around the cut crease in a second. Maybe the angled brush from this set, just to see if I can intensify the cut crease a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna use the flat liner brush because the actual angled brush is a little bit too thick. So I'm gonna go in with this one. These shadows are so blendy. They just wanna blend. <laughs> Something about this that I'm not like 100% on, and I don't know what. It is. I could not tell you. I think I do just want some more depth. That's literally it. So I'm just gonna fiddle around a little bit. <laughs> also, my battery is flashing at me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and everything. And then we'll continue with the other brushes. I'll be right back. All right, so I did the other eye off camera um, and I've already primed my face. If you're interested with any of the actual products that I'm using, I'm gonna list them all down below for you guys. But now it's time for foundation. And now we're moving on to the second set that I bought of these brushes. I will admit, I'm kind of a bit frustrated with them at this point, considering that one has already broken. But we're gonna persevere and <laughs> we're gonna try these brushes, okay. So the one I'm gonna be using for foundation is the Base Buffer. This is now a new handle and they have different colors to indicate the different sizes. The one for the eyeshadow is the blue base and now it's the green base for the face. I'm just gonna mix up a little bit of a concoction on the back of my hand. It has seemed to absorb a lot into the brush. Let's see how it applies the foundation. This has kind of been like my go-to foundation mixture recently so we know how this like performs typically. I do actually like the feeling of this brush. It's quite dense and soft which is nice. I do feel like it has absorbed quite a bit of product though. That was two pumps of foundation on the back of my hand. Hmm. I would typically use that for <laughs> the majority of my face. So this brush is like absorbing quite a bit. You just try 
dotting it on and then blending it in. Hopefully this will make the product go a little bit further. Okay, yeah, I definitely <laughs> think that's the best way to go because I still have the majority of the product on my hand now and it's not just left the building, you know. <laughs> it is also a brand new brush and I do find with new brushes they tend to absorb some product and then they get better over time so I have to give it the benefit of the doubt a little bit, you know. I like the feel of this brush. It's like squidgy but also firm. It's a decent size so it really gets into every area that you want to. It does absorb quite a bit of product. Okay, I've now almost used four pumps of foundation. <laughs> that is not normal for me. I usually try to not use too much but here we are. <laughs> okay so I quite like that brush to be honest. I'm going to try and apply cream contour with this brush. This might be a bad idea <laughs> but I'm just gonna put it on the side of the brush and see if I can chisel out a little. Let's see. up quite a lot of product actually of that. Hmm, I applied that a little low. <laughs> oh god, what have I done? Let's just blend it out, shall we? Okay, not my best idea. <laughs> I'm going to try it again, but go a little higher this time. Definitely not my favourite, but it applied it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's a little big to be doing this with, but I just wanted to try, you know? <laughs> In the face set, it comes with this little concealer brush. It's the airbrush concealer. It's quite small, like very tiny actually. This goes with the blue handle. It almost looks like one of those duo fiber brushes because it's got kind of like longer and shorter bristles. Let's see what this does for my actual concealer. Now I typically prefer using a sponge with my concealer because I have dry under eyes so just reinforces the moisture, you know? I don't know how I feel about this being so like stubby. <laughs> I feel like the metal is gonna like get up against my eye area at any point and oh my gosh. Can you see how streaky that is? <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, I feel too like thing to like pounce it just because I feel like it's gonna be too harsh. I don't know. I don't really like this. Oh gosh. It looks real bad, but here it's like just making my concealer all like bobbly. I don't know if you can see that on camera. So far I am not <laughs> having much luck with these brushes on my... This would be great for like around the nose area, like this, it really fits that. For underneath the eyes, it just feels a little harsh. I'm gonna add a little bit more <laughs> concealer to hopefully help the situation. Do some high points as well. While this sets down a little bit, I'm gonna actually do my brows. This face set comes with a spoolie. It doesn't come with a brow brush though, just the spoolie. <laughs> but with the eye set, it comes with a little angled brush, so I'm gonna try using this for my brows. Lately, literally all I've been doing is putting gimme brow through my brows, so it's been a while since I've actually done anything to them. You know, I thought I'd like this whole change it up <laughs> the brush head, but it's actually a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna use Benefit Browsing, and let's see about this angled brush, because it does seem rather large. Pretty large and in charge, it's pretty thick. It'll be fine for my eyebrows, because I have bushy ass eyebrows. If you've got like thinner, brows. It's not really gonna be the best, I don't think. Definitely not thin enough to go in and do like brow hairs or anything like that with. It's not my favourite thing. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna quickly go finish up my brows and I'll be right back. Alright, I literally just run some gimme brow <laughs> through my brows. I don't know why I had to go off camera to do that, but I did. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna blend out my concealer. I'm just gonna use my foundation brush to do that, just because I really did not like that concealer brush at all, but it's so much better. <laughs> Ooh, that makes my under eyes look so much smoother. <laughs> this is the one and only brush that I really feel like I may go back to right now. <laughs> all right, for my under eyes, I'm actually going to use the individual brush that I bought, which is the rounded cheek brush. See if it comes close to my Nabla brush, which is my favorite brush to set my under eyes. Quickly try this. I find some brushes can like pick up the coverage from my concealer or like disturb it when I set it. Let's see what this one does. I like the feeling of this brush. So that's set my under eyes quite nicely. It has picked up maybe like a little bit of the coverage like right by here. 
but that is a problem spot for me. But on my other eye and everything, it's fine. So it seems all right. <laughs> I'll see how this performs with like highlight and blush. I want to powder my whole face now. So let's try this angled blush brush. I mean, it's a bit big for me for blush. So yeah, I'm just going to powder my whole face with this brush. I'm just going to do a little bit of a light dusting, I guess. This is quite a flimsy brush. So if you like to like stamp on your powder, it's not really going to do that. It feels nice and soft. Yeah, I quite like that. It's powdered on the face. It's a basic powder brush, so it's not <laughs> revolutionary, but it works if you're buying the set, I guess. So far, I don't know if I recommend the set though, but anyway. We'll conclude my final thoughts at the end. I think I'm actually going to use this brush for bronzer. It is a little big for a bronzer brush in my opinion, but we'll try it, see what happens. Add some dimension back into this face. It's picking up a decent amount of product and yeah, it's blending really easily. But is that just the product? <laughs> Again, this is like a bigger brush than what I would usually use for bronzer. For like an all over quick bronze, I guess it works. God, I've got to use this bronzer more. This is the Jouer Duo Bronzer. It is so nice. <laughs> I always forget. Even though I thought it was going to be too big, it has dispersed the product really nicely. I'm sorry if you guys hear any buzzing noise. I've had to put my laptop on charge because it's my monitor and it sometimes creates like a buzzing sound in my audio. So hopefully it's not on for long. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this little brush, the rounded cheek, and I'm gonna add some blush. Feels a little small for a blush brush, but I guess it's like a multi-purpose one, this one. Well, all brushes are, but you know what I mean? It's just a little rounded brush that I feel you can use for a lot of things. Picks up the product really nicely, blends really nicely. I quite like this brush in particular. I thought I would, that's why I bought it. <laughs> okay, I know I still have to do my under eyes, but I want to apply highlight now. I'm going to use this by XX Revolution. It's their highlighter in the shade Echo. This is like such like a skin like texture. That's why I really like it. It just melts into the skin. So let's see what this brush does to it. Obviously this is a more fluffy brush. So I'm getting a little bit of a less concentrated application. I don't mind that. What's important though is it hasn't made the actual product go down textured or anything. So. Yeah, I like this little brush. So far, I quite like two, which is the foundation brush in this one, and then I don't mind the big powder one. The eyeshadow brushes, I could probably live without, I'll be honest, they're not the best. Thinking that I'm going to go finish off my eyes off camera, just because, I don't know, I'm done with playing with those eye brushes. <laughs> I'm just gonna go finish this up and then we'll do lips together. I've also got new lips and lashes by Doll Beauty. I've got this style, which is called Taylor, which looks so beautiful and wispy. And then also I have this lip combo that I wanna try. Let's just do this now. Before I go off and do my lashes, I'll just do my lips now. I'm hoping these two are gonna go together. I think the line is a little bit darker, so we'll see. This is in the shade Boy Bye, and it's a classic pencil one that you can just sharpen. It's a bit more of a warmer tone than what I thought it was. I really like this color, and this is super easy to use, and it's like almost like a lipstick consistency, which I really like in my lip liners. I like them to be soft, but not too soft, you know? It's like this perfect in the middle. It doesn't look like I've used that much, so it's proof that it's not too soft, you know? Then I've also got the Doll Beauty lipstick in the shade Golden Girl. Looks like a pretty color. I don't know if it's gonna go with this look, but we shall try it. <laughs> hmm, definitely not gonna go with this look, but <laughs> I'm just gonna try it anyway. Super creamy. Mm. I love this combo, like Golden Girl with Boy Bye. The different look with like maybe just like a bronzy smoky eye. It is very peachy, this golden girl shade. I thought it was gonna be matte, but it's more of like a creamy satin glossy formula. It makes your lips look really plump. I quite like that. But yeah, it does not really go with the eyes, so I'm gonna go switch this out and put on my lashes and everything and finish up this look and then we'll talk about the eyeshadow palette and also the interchangeable brushes by Equal Tools and uh, whether I think they're worth the money or not. Leave your guesses in the comments below. What do you think I'm gonna say? 
I'll see you guys in a second. All right, you guys, so here is the finished look. Um, the lashes are super pretty, but I feel like they look completely different on either eye. And also, I cut one too short. I think it was this one, so I had to <laughs> add an extra one on there. Oh no, sorry, it was this eye. So, um, yeah, that's my bad. But apart from that, they're super pretty. I really love this eyeshadow palette. I feel like my blending was not the best today, but honestly, I'm kind of blaming the brushes. All right. <laughs> I did not like that eye set. I guess like you could get an eye look done with them, but it just didn't pick up and place the pigment the way I wanted them to, and it couldn't get that much of intense color. I don't know why. It seemed as soon as I tapped off the brush, the color just left the brush, and it was like, see ya, bye. The only brushes that I kind of liked was the powder brush, foundation brush, and also this little rounded cheek brush so if I was to buy the sets again I would just go for the face one that also comes with a angled crease brush the spoolie and the concealer brush which to be honest I hated but yeah I am kind of disappointed especially the fact that this one just broke on the first like few uses that's just really disappointed to me I love the idea of this but the execution just was not the best <laughs> hope that maybe like another brand comes out and does this. Just need a little bit better quality, I feel, and it would work. I will say though, actually using it, I thought it would be more ergonomic and like natural and just be like easy to switch out, but it did not prove to be that way. So I don't even know if I would enjoy the process with decent brushes. I don't know. I just wanted to try them. So I did. <laughs> and hopefully this helped you decide whether you wanted to purchase them or not. Would not recommend, as I said. <laughs> Obsessed with this eyeshadow palette though. It's so beautiful. It honestly blended like a dream. It blended better than what I thought it would, considering it's a pressed pigment palette. It just wanted to just blend seamlessly. So I'm so glad about that. I cannot wait to dig into this colorful side, maybe for some Halloween looks. You shall see, I'm hoping to do some this year. I may dedicate like the last week of October for some looks, but I'm not guaranteeing because I don't want to put pressure on myself. Just being honest. It's been a hard year, okay? Don't want to put any more pressure on myself than I need to, but I do have some ideas. Let me know of any looks that you want me to do, if you have any Halloween ideas or anything. I love the Dollar Beauty lip liner, by the way, and the lipstick. I only can't wait to wear those again. Uh, but yeah, that is it for this video. Yeah, I feel like I've been all over the place and it's just been random and a bit of a disaster. But you know what? That just represents my life. So. <laughs> I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. I hope you're staying safe, wearing your mask. And yeah, I'm gonna now love you and leave you. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button. And that'll just notify you when I upload next. And I hope to see you on the next video. Till then, bye guys. It's almost creating like a. Is that fly? Fuck off. Fuck off. Um. What's this called again? Jeez. Louise. Honey, man, make it happen. I can work this one for me. I don't know why I have the Pussycat Girls song stuck in my head. I don't need a man. <laughs> I've not listened to that song since I was like 12. <laughs> so why is it all of a sudden in my brain? I don't know. Please someone explain. <laughs>